Hi, how you doing? I am your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and are with our very special guest from Nexi Innovations, Zach Hudson, the CSO, Chief Scientific Officer of Next Innovations. How are you doing today, Zach? I'm doing great, Rich. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. So as the Chief Scientific Officer of Nexa Innovations, what are your roles and responsibilities and duties with the company? So uh, my role is to lead large portions of our research and development program in uh, plant-based formulations for consumer products. So this involves the uh, chemical formulations that we use to uh, make up the plant-based materials. It also involves how we process them into consumer products and looking into how they break down in a safe and non-toxic manner. Okay, great. And you have, uh, I'm really excited to have you guys on the show and you guys have had so much success. Like when we talked about NEXE innovations first, it was under a dollar pre-IPO, around 40 cents. And today it hit a high of $5. Incredible. Like within two months, it's been an absolute rocket. So now that we have you back on the show and we have a member from NEXE back on the show, I'm excited to have you here. Can you tell us why you guys have been killing it in the market so much since we got a chance to talk about the company last time? And give me a rundown on some recent milestones hit and how you are shaking up in the plant-based product sector. Absolutely. So I think that one of the reasons why the market's been so excited about us is because people are recognizing that this is uh, a product, our, our coffee pod product, which is uh, what we launched earlier last month, that the market really badly needs. So more than 40 billion single serve coffee pods are sold every year and virtually none of them are biodegradable or compostable or recycled. Um, and so what we've created is a solution that uh, is compostable and plant-based and good for the planet. So people are excited about it. And uh, I think there is an understanding that this technology is set to really disrupt the industry. So to talk a little bit about milestones, we've had a really exciting past two months. Um, some of the most recent things that we've uh, gone through involve, first of all, some best in class composting studies for our uh, coffee pods. So we've shown that they break down in, in uh, municipal composting in under 10 weeks which is fantastic. We're really excited wow. about those products. We've also um, completed our first product launch. So our in-house superfoods brand Zoma launched uh, just a past couple of weeks ago and sold out the same day. We sold out of our entire wow. inventory in, in one day. Wow, um, congratulations. So, uh, thank you, thank you. So that's gone really, really well. Uh, and we also received a, a million dollar grant from the government of Canada uh, to support the commercialization of this technology. So it, it has indeed been an action packed a uh, couple of weeks. You guys also announced some amazing news about taking your current infrastructure that you have in place for creating plant-based coffee pods, and now you're disrupting the personal protective equipment sector with a plant-based mask and other PPE materials. Can you go through that for us and how it's much needed game changer with everything that's going on right now with the COVID-19? Absolutely. So our five years of R&D into the coffee pod sector led us to develop uh, quite a few patents and quite a few really interesting technologies that we quickly learned were needed in other industries as well. So coffee pods is, is one sector we're very motivated to uh, disrupt, but we recently became aware that the number of masks being sold, disposable masks, is greater than 100 billion a month. Wow. In a month. Yeah, it's, it's an absolutely insane figure due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And these uh, are also similarly non-biodegradable, non-compostable plastic. And so they're just going to persist in landfill for hundreds or thousands of years. So what we learned was when we connected some dots, we realized that we could use the technology we developed in service of the coffee industry to actually uh, tackle this, uh, at the moment, larger problem in, in PPE. And so we've begun the development of a compostable mask. And so what we've been doing over the past several weeks leading up to today's announcement is bringing together the right partners to work with us uh, in PPE production, in healthcare, and in the manufacturing of, of non-woven biopolymers. And so uh, we're hoping you're going to hear more about that in the weeks to come. Okay, Zach, would you say that you're ahead of your competitors for market share in the space right now? So what I would say is that uh, we launched our first product just about two weeks ago and sold out of that inventory immediately. And we're taking a phased launch approach to kind of test the waters and see how consumers interact with our product and to gauge demand. So right now demand has been extremely robust and we're aiming to scale up to uh, tens of millions of uh, coffee pods sold 
per year um, by end of 21 or into 2022. Wow, that's incredible. If there was one thing you would want shareholders to know about Nexi Innovations, what would it be? It would be that we're not just a coffee pods company. So this is, we have transformed our business model from one that just makes and produces coffee pods to one that makes and produces um, innovative plant-based materials technologies and applies them to sectors of need where uh, plastic waste is really a problem. So we are absolutely committed to launching our pods business and scaling that into the tens or even hundreds of millions uh, of units per year in sales. But we'll also uh, be applying these technologies that we've spent a lot of time and money developing to other sectors as well. And we'll be sharing that with the market in the months to come. Wow, I'm excited to see what's going to come next. You guys have already been a huge success story. To imagine what could be coming is uh, kind of mind boggling. If there was a way for an investor to get in contact with the company, if somebody that's watching this wants to learn more about the company, wants to learn about potentially doing work with the company, maybe wants to do a joint venture, an LOI, maybe interested in investing, what's the best way for those people that are watching to get in contact with the company? We'd be very excited to have anyone watching reach out. Um, you can find all the contact details on our website. Our investor relations team will respond promptly. Uh, we deal with both retail investors, institutional investors, and uh, business partners all the time. And we look forward to hearing from you. Well, super excited to have you on the show today. Zach Hudson, the CSO, Chief Scientific Officer of Next Innovations. Guys, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Past performance is not an indication of future results. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, and share the video everywhere and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today, Zach. Keep up the great work and hope to have you on the show again soon. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. If you guys are not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. We brought you NEXE in Canada first. It's already been a huge winner. NEXNF in America. Put it on your watch list. Put it on your radar. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day, everybody.